All right, so you may be wondering, hey, the Ravens Steelers game is tomorrow. I've already made a video about about you know Ravens Steelers, uh, so that will be a separate video on Wednesday. We gotta talk about these other NFL games. I have waited long enough to talk about these games now. One thing we do have to note is that the Jacksonville Jaguars are the second team to be eliminated from the NFL playoff picture. Um, they lost to the Browns by only two points. Tough luck. Tough luck there. And it was a bizarre week 12. Very bizarre week 12. You know, the Ravens-Steelers game been moved. Like so many times, I made a video about that yesterday. Um, it wasn't very long, but um, yeah, we we gotta talk about Thursday. You know, it was a dreadful Thursday slate. Um, like left up to the you know, left up to the schedules and stuff like that. You know what a dreadful Thursday we had because both games were blowouts. Um, the game I did not watch, I ended up watching something else during that time was the Texans and the Lions. JJ Watt pick six, you know, you know, Deshaun Watson and company easily coasting through the Lions. And in the second game, of course, you know I had to watch it because you know I'm a fan of this team. I don't know why at this point. But hey, Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington football team. And you know who just went off Antonio Gibson. Three touchdowns. Three of them. So many bad decisions by the Dallas Cowboys in this game. So many bad fourth down calls. So many bad, you know, plays. Zeke continues to, you know, you know, not, you know, make plays. You know, there's just there's just so much wrong with Dallas Cowboys. And the Washington football team had the NFC East lead for about three days. Yeah, that's it. About three days. They were in front for about three days, and then the Giants took that lead. And now the Giants are in front of the NFC East because they beat the Bengals. Who but didn't they start? No, I have no idea who the Bengals started in that game. I didn't watch this game, so I don't know. I don't. I don't care. I'm. I'm, I'm upset. And before we get, before we, you know could talk about the rest of these games. Eagles looked dreadful against the Seahawks. You know, the final score should have been like 23 to 9, but instead it's 23-17. So fantasy football owners, you know, y'all probably were happy about the result of that game, you know, getting the fantasy points and stuff like that. Uh yeah, that game was kind of ugly too. You know, just not a lot happening. You know, for the Eagles, and the Eagles are now in the basement with the Cowboys. You know, and why are the Giants and the football team in the lead for the NFC East? Why? Why? How? I don't get it. I don't get it. Meanwhile, the Sunday night game was also a blowout. Because, of course, it was a blowout. We knew it was going to be a blowout. Bears looked absolutely pathetic. We didn't know who the starting quarterback was going to be. It ended up being Mitch Trubisky. And, of course, the Packers put up a whooping on the Bears. Put up a beatdown on them. 41-25. Disgusting. But, you know, the biggest thing was a um, QB conundrum for the Broncos this week. They get blown out by the Saints anyway, 31-3. But um, Kendall Hilton... Hinton, I think I, I'm, I'm not good with names anymore. It it, it 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 doesn't even matter. I mean, the Broncos now have their quarterbacks back anyway, so you know due to you know COVID testing and stuff like that, they have the quarterbacks back. But Kendall Hinton, you know, he was the guy. And he barely completed a pass in that game against the Saints. He went like one for nine or something like that. Dreadful. Dreadful performance, dreadful display by the NFL. This game should have been postponed or something, but no, it was not. It was not postponed. I don't get it. There should be a Week 18 this year, but there's not. I don't get it. 
I just don't get it. I don't know. Crazy. <sighs> I don't get it, man. 49ers upset the Rams. Very surprising result there. You know, I'm very surprised the 49ers did that. You know, Rams, they they just got caught at the, at the wrong time. They completely got caught in this. I mean, there, there, there's some other stuff going on. There was some other stuff going on, too. You know, you know, you had the Bills beat the Chargers by 10. Nothing really to see there. Vikings had to come back to beat the Panthers. And they won by a single point. Nothing really to see there. Um, and the Falcons, very surprisingly, the Falcons just beat up on the Raiders 43-6. to Very, very disgusting performance by the Raiders. They're now 6-5. and They lost two straight games. They need to get it together. The playoffs are not going to be kind. You know, if, if you start losing games this late in the season, and you know who's coming back into the thick of things? Those New England Patriots, despite Cam Newton passing for less than 100 yards and stuff like that, the Patriots beat the Cardinals 20 to 17. Very surprising stuff right there. And the Cardinals are also six and five, I believe. Very surprising stuff right there. That the Patriots, they are back in the playoff picture. Things are looking, they're looking pretty interesting now. They're looking pretty interesting. Um. Oh, yeah, and the Dolphins, they beat up on the Jets. Jets are, what, 0-11 now? That 0-16 season is coming a bit closer to fruition. Boy, it would be glorious. So, um, the two biggest games of Sunday were really the Titans and the Colts. This was the game that I watched, you know, for, like, the first three hours of the day. And Titans... Second time around, blew out the Colts. Very, very stout performance by the Tennessee Titans. A.J. Brown went off. You know, Derrick Henry went off. Three touchdowns for him. You know, A.J. Brown got a touchdown pass, and he took a onside kick return, or was it a punt return or something like that? It was a punt return, you know, a kickoff return back for a touchdown from 42 yards out as well. Very good performance by the Titans. They're now in the lead in the AFC South. Very good performance there. And then, of course, the biggest game of the day, arguably, Chiefs, Bucks. It was, it was something, man. Let me tell you, Bucks got to get it together, man. They got to get it together. Now the Bucks are on their bye week. They finally have their bye. You know, they haven't had a bye game yet. I mean, the bye week yet. And they got to get some things, you know, together. They 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 have to they have to get it together. You know, because they looked atrocious in that first half. Especially that first quarter. Defense looked bad. I mean, whoever was guarding Tariq Hill got picked on for 260-plus yards. 260, what, 69 yards? Crazy. And Patrick Mahomes threw for over 460 yards. You know, crazy stuff right there. Or was it like 432? I think it was 432, my bad. Um... The Chiefs had to hang on. The Bucks did come back in the second half, but the Chiefs hung on. Tom Brady threw a bad, bad couple of picks in this game, and he's been throwing some bad picks all season long. He needs to get that together, old man. You need to get it together, old man. I mean, man, what a game. What a game that was. And, you know, the, the two sheriffs, as I coined this game, you know, the two sheriffs, the old sheriff and the new sheriff, new sheriff Patrick Mahomes gets the W and the Chiefs still lead the AFC West, still currently second in the um, AFC playoff picture and are what, 10-1 and one now? Good stuff right there, good stuff. So yeah, Raven Steelers recap will be tomorrow. I'm, I'm 
gonna recap all this stuff um, tomorrow. You know, um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna be on the channel tomorrow. Um, again, uh, I had to leave a comment on another video from the last, from one of the last videos I did yesterday. Um, Illinois fans got really upset at me. Um, Illinois basketball fans got really upset at me for yesterday. Um, I apologize, you know, for my lack of knowledge about the Illinois basketball team. I'm currently, you know, again, getting getting myself ready and situated to talk about the Jimmy B Classic and stuff right now. Uh, yeah. There's that. Um, you guys, again, those guys can comment on videos again. I, I will not tolerate, you know, comments that are, you know, just not, you know, not, uh, 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 that are not making good progress on the conversation at hand. You know, we can't we can't have that. We cannot have that at all. And if you're not making a conversation that makes sense, if you're not leading constructive criticism that makes sense, that there's no point in you commenting on a video. There's no point in you commenting on a video. Uh, I'd rather you not do that. But with that being said, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow to recap the Ravens, Steelers, the Champions Classic, and the, yeah, the, the college football playoff stuff. So there's a lot that needs to go on tomorrow. And then Thursday, Maui Invitational, Jimmy B Classic, Illinois fans, you will be appeased. Thursday, okay? Y'all take care.